Hey, hello and welcome to the third episode of the show. My name is Mick. And I'm Peter. And uh, previously I showed you how we did the hardware hack of the RC car transmitter using an Arduino board. And today we're going to show you how we can transfer my movements from the Wii controller and the balance board into the Arduino board. That's right, Peter. The Wii controller contains a lot of buttons. It can do almost anything. But what we would like it to do... <laughs> Shit, a lot of things. Yeah. It does coffee and... Uh, <laughs> Candy. Sorry. Chocolate. But what we it would plays like... tennis? It doesn't play tennis. <laughs> oh. It's a shotgun. No. <laughs> we would like to make it detect the movements that we do to it and transfer them onto the computer. It actually contains a three-axis accelerometer. And that is what we are going to play with. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> The okay, Oscillator is a piece of software for the Mac and it's used for, for making connections between Wii remote controls and, uh, and the computer. And, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and the way <laughs> the Wii controller is connected to the software is pushing button 1 and 2. And then in a second it will show if it's connected. As soon as it connects you'll see that, see there it is, the battery level of the, of the Wii remote control shows up. and. All kinds of things are lighting up here as, as Peter is moving the, the thing a little bit around. And all Oscillator actually is doing is just collecting this information and retransmitting it out on the, uh, on the network. So I've written a small piece of software that, that, um, that receives these signals and just shows them on the screen. Just as a graph here. So as Peter moves the thing around, this little dot will just display where, where he's moving it. So this is how it looks when I move it. Well done, Peter. Thank you, Mick. <laughs> as well as the Wii controller, the balance board can detect movements. It works by four pressure sensors placed in each corner. And this is how it works. And this is how it looks when the software is connected. Does it work, Mick? Yeah, yeah. It's great. It shows your movements. Yeah, it has the same Bluetooth connection as the, the Wii controller, so it's pretty much the same thing software-wise. The Oscillator software that we used on the Mac for getting inputs from the Wii controllers and the Wii Fit Balance Board, it uh, transmits the signals on the network in a protocol called the Open Sound Control Protocol. And uh, I found some software for the iPhone that does the same thing. It's called Oscillator. I'm so sorry guys, uh, the iPhone software is not called Oscular, it's called the uh, Oshi mode. And if I launch the application, it has all kinds of different inputs. Um, and it also has a touch input interface. So when I move my finger around um, the iPhone screen, it transmits the coordinates of my touch to, uh, to the computer. And you can see that on the left side of the screen, it shows the raw input that we get from the um, from the iPhone. On the right side of the computer screen, it shows um, a small difference because if you see, if I move my finger up and down, it moves in the opposite direction on the uh, on the um, on the computer. That's because somehow the coordinates are, are inverted on the iPhone. So. I want the car to drive forward when I get my finger up and not backwards. So I had to invert one of the channels. Thank you for watching this episode and uh, thanks to Morpha for sponsoring the show. Next episode is going to be all about the whole chain of components that we put together to make it work. It's going to be sweet. It sure will. <laughs> and we're also going to show you all the things we went through to, uh, to make it work just right. So you have the right feeling. Mm -hmm. See you next time. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you for watching this episode. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>